Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf, and I'm back, baby, with another epic vintage toy hunt adventure. Yes, we will be hunting for vintage toys in thrift store to and thrift store <laughs> in thrift stores today. But I also have to hit up a few Ross for two reasons. One is that I'm personally looking for Universal monsters, so. I was able to pick up the Bride of Frankenstein, Frankenstein's monster, and uh, the creature from the Black Lagoon. So I was able to pick up those three. I, I'm still looking for Invisible Man. I'm looking for Dracula, and maybe possibly the Wolf Man. I haven't heard of him being spotted at Ross yet, but you know he's part of that line, so he could be showing up any day. I have no idea. But uh, I need to stop at Ross because I'm on the hunt for those. I wanna try and complete that line if I can. Plus, my buddy Keith uh, saw the Frankenstein's monster and said I'd love to have one of those, and Carson, Carson. Uh, is also looking for a Frankenstein. And I just so happened to have hid a couple of Frankensteins the day before, so I can pick those up for those guys. So I, I hid them because the line was really long and I didn't want to wait in line, but I ended up finding the Frankenstein's monster. I ended up finding him at another Ross. So these two figures are still hidden at Ross. So I need to go over there and pick them up for those guys. Plus I'm gonna spread a little Christmas cheer in this video. Hey, I hope you're excited to watch this video as excited as I am to present it to you. I'm ready to go guys. How about you? Let's roll. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. All right, let's see if these Frankensteins are still here. All right, it was down this aisle here with the blue Cowboys bottles. Well, I hid them back here. They look like it's been disturbed. Oh, nope, there they are. Look at that. One for Keith. And one for Carson. All right, now that I got both of these, let's go check the toy section and see if there's a Dracula that might have showed up here. Hopefully. If not, we'll hit up a couple of Ross, a couple more Ross today and see if we can find a Dracky. All right, let's do this. All right, let's see. What Toonie Terrors are these? I think I saw them the other day. from they live <laughs> well, here's a pinhead it's cool again I just wish these things weren't $11.99 there's another Elvira I would definitely pick some of these up but they are not oh look at this it's Bengali I've never seen that one, not even in stores. Is this a Batman? Oh, that's a Superman. It's beefcake Superman. He's kind of chunky. Ghost face. Man, they got a lot of Tooney Terrors here. Too bad they're not putting anything like 50% off the day before Christmas or something like that. You know? Of course, I'd have to wait a couple more days because it's only Friday. Now, where did I put the Frankensteins? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I just laid the Frankensteins down and now I can't find them. Where the hell did I put the Frankies? What? How do they just disappear like that? Oh, here they are. <laughs> All right. Oh, here's some more Rakondo and another Croc. But I'm not seeing any Draculas. Well, they definitely had some new figures on the shelves like that Svengali and that Superman. So that was kind of cool to see. Unfortunately, they didn't have any more Universal Monsters. So 
we got busted there, but that's okay. We got some more Ross we can check up. In the meantime, we're gonna go hit up the Goody Wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. We're at the Goody Wheel, baby. We at the Goody Wheel, the world famous Goody Wheel. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage toys for your boy. Let's check it out. All right, Goody Wheel. What you got? What you got for your boy? Man, that is, this bag has been here for like a month now. Nothing. I feels like we's about to get skunked. Look at this guy. Oh, here's a bag over here. What's in this bag? Lots of dinos. Some fossilized dinos. Looks like a remote control or something. Oh, it's Shamu. Here's some more bags of dinos here. Yeah, unfortunately, there's really nothing cool in there. I think she's from uh, Jurassic World, right? It'd be good for your 12 inch figures. This big case of Matchbox is still here. This was here the other day. I know jack squat about Hot Wheels and Matchbox. I have no idea if any of these are worth anything, but I can tell you this, I'm gonna pass on all of them. There was this cart right here, and I just pulled some of these Lego off. Oh, they want 15 bucks a piece for them, holy cow. Well, this one is $10, and this one is 15. All right, let me see if they're what they're worth. Well, this one's selling for about 20. This one is selling anywhere from 10 to 30. It's kind of all over the place. So I will be leaving these here. Oh, look at those Lego sets back here. Yeah, yeah, how much are those? Okay. 60. All right, I'm gonna, I'll take both of these. Well, hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog, man. Big money score. Now I had to pay up for it. I had to pay up for those Lego, but I did pick up a couple of those Lego, seal, those sealed boxes of Lego. So I should be able to more than double my money on it, which that will be a breath of fresh air once I get the money back on it. <laughs> because I did, I paid up on this one. So, all right, let's do a little show and tell. First up, we've got the Lego Boost Build Code Play. I have no idea what kind of Lego set this is. It looks like you can build like a robot, Vernie the Robot, the MTR4, this Auto Builder, Guitar 4000. You can even build a cat, Frankie the Cat, Boost Bricks. If we kind of turn this around, what's on the other side here? Oh yeah, it's Vernie the Robot again. Yeah, five in one model. I guess those are all the different things you can build with it. But yeah, like I said, you know, I paid up on these a little bit. But uh, so I paid $60 for this one, but I saw it selling for like 100, I think it was like 120 to 150 or something like that. So I should be able to double my money on it. I also picked up this Bat Space Shuttle. So I paid $40 for this one. I saw it selling for like 80 to 100. So again, I should be able to double my money on this as well. But check that out, how freaking cool is this Lego set. And the cool thing, uh, the great thing, or else I, I wouldn't have bought it if it, if it wasn't, but these, these are both like factory sealed. So we can see right here, see? Factory sealed, never opened on both sides here. 
So had that not been like that, I probably would not have bought these because you just don't know if all the pieces are there, if they're not sealed like that. So I tend to stay away from things that aren't sealed. And here's the back side of the box. Just some different artwork. Got all the little Lego people there. I'm assuming all of those figures maybe come with this bat shuttle. Maybe not, or maybe it's just these ones down here. I don't know. All you Lego people can let me know if it just comes with like these three. Or is it one, two, three, four, five? Does it come with all six? I would assume it comes with all six, right? Anyway, man, I, this is a freaking awesome score and I'm excited to maybe make a little money on it. Not a too a shabby, if I do say so myself. Hopefully I can make a little money off of that. That would be sweet. But hey, before we continue on to the next segment, I've got a special dedication that I wanna do for a girl named Nalika. So Nalika, if you're watching, Adesh told me that he met you. He met his soulmate, you in the 1980s. And he told me that he wanted you to know that he loves you until the 80s and back, and that 80s romances are O.C. Yes, 80s romances rock. So hey, Nalika, Adesh loves you with all his heart. So, all right guys, let's head off to Ross. All right, let's see. Can we find a Drackey? What's this Toonie Terror? Oh, it's Freddy. What's this Rick and Morty thing? Oh, it's socks. Rick and Morty socks. Well, I don't see anything. Their toy section is kind of small compared to some of the other Ross, but I'm not seeing anything. All right, we got busted at Ross, but that's okay because we got plenty of Ross in the area that we can check out to see if we can find these universal monsters. In the meantime, let's spread a little Christmas cheer. My buddy Clutch, you guys know that Clutch is always coming in clutch for me. That's how I gave him the nickname because when I can't find something, he'll find it and be like, hey, Burf, it's over here, you know? So Clutch has become a good friend. And a few weeks back at Ross, I picked up a 40th anniversary edition of he-man and he saw that and he was like hey man like i'm looking for that like if you find another one let me know you know or get it for me and i'll pay you back sort of thing so uh i've been on the hunt for those you know kind of looking for those over the last few weeks I haven't found it but i've got one that i picked up for myself that i want to give him you know he has no idea i'm about to do this so we're gonna head on over to his house and do a little secret santa action all right Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, Clutch. All right, now I'll send him a text message. Okay, so after I dropped it off, I sent him a text message that said, hey, Clutch, I was in the area and I drove past your house and I saw a fat man in a red suit dropping something off on your doorstep. You might want to check your front porch. So, a few minutes later, he texted back, thank you. So Clutch, if you're watching, buddy, Merry Christmas. Thank you for all that you do. All right, guys, I think we need to switch gears again and head back to Ross and see if we can find some of these universal monsters. All right, what do we got? We got Bride of Frankenstein, Rakondo. Let's see, can we find anything? Any Drackies? We got a ton of Mandalorians here. Bunch of Halo. We got some D and D, some Spawn. Oh, what's this one? Some Universal Monsters back here. What do we got? Okay. Right of Oh, what's this? Oh, what's that? Is that the Mummy? Oh, that's the Invisible Man. Sweet. Right, well, I think 
that's all it's in that little batch right there here's another invisible man all right maybe we can find some more eh come on Dracky, where are you where are you Dracky? oh look at this admiral akbar that's the first i've seen him all right so i'm gonna have to hide this thing and come back and get it later because check out this line. It goes right here, all the way there, and then it goes back that way. So there's no way I'm waiting in line that long for this. So I gotta find a good hiding spot and then come back maybe tomorrow mer morning, tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning, like first thing in the morning so I can get in and get out. All right, now I gotta find a place to hide it. Well, we found the invisible man, which I've had some subscribers pose the question to me, how do you see the invisible man? How do you find the invisible man? I mean, to see him or to find him negates that he's invisible. <laughs> so anyway, um, unfortunately, we're not able, we found him, but we're not able to pick him up because the line is just way too freaking long, like way too long. So I had to hide him. But, you know, we still have some more Universal Monsters on the list that we need to find. Dracula, possibly the Wolfman. So let's, uh, you know, we're going to keep him hidden for now. We'll come back the next tomorrow or whenever to get him, probably tomorrow. And uh, and then, uh, well, in the meantime, let's go see if we can find Dracula and the Wolfman. All right, let's see if we can find a Dracula here. See, we got Black Lagoon, we've got Frankenstein, any Draculas. Who's this guy? Oh, Princess Bride. What do they want for him? $4.99? All right, I'll probably hide him too, because I've got... I've got the on... I've got Andre. What was his name? Fez or something like that? What is that? What is that? Oh, that's Crockmaster. I thought that was Duke for a second. Duke on the motorcycle, on the vamp. Or not the vamp. Uh, whatever the motorcycle was called. <laughs> All right, I think I'm definitely gonna hide this though for five bucks. Check this out. I haven't seen this one yet. Top Gun, that's pretty cool. Oh snap, they want 25 bucks for that, dang. Yet another figure that I have to hide and come back later. And the reason for that was I gotta meet Carson. Man, he Carson, he's always disrupting my toy hunt. But I got to meet Carson at like 11 o'clock and it's like quarter till and it's about a 30 minute drive to where I <laughs> need to meet him. So I'm going to be a little bit late. So I decided to hide Vizzini and uh, I'll come back the next day and get him whenever I come back to get the invisible man. So for right now, let's go meet up with Carson so that I can give him and Keith their Christmas presents, which is the Frankenstein's monster. Yes, yes, I'm actually giving Carson a Christmas present. <laughs> Keith is understandable. Carson, not so much. But yeah, hey, you know what? Tis the season. Merry Christmas, Carson. Merry Christmas, Bert. You filthy animal. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Merry Christmas, brother. Hey, Merry Christmas. Have you uh, found any luck anywhere else? Not really. I found an invisible man. Yeah. But the line, there was only one, and the line, like no joke, had probably like 30 to 40 people in it. So I hit it, and I'm going to try going back tomorrow morning when they first open right. to get it, you know? <laughs> but like, anyway, but yeah, invisible uh, man. So that I assume the wolf man is going to be out there soon, too. Eventually, it all depends. Yeah, because they get rid of it. Yeah, because they pretty much have like you know they got that first four that way before, and then Invisible Man. So I don't know. We'll see. But. Check this out. Look what Carson got. He got. Uh, you got these on like what'd you get them on like eBay or something? Off 
Offer up. I've never heard of that. Is that like a Mercari eBay yeah. sort of thing? Did you, is it auction style or just buy? Just buy. Okay. These are from 1974? Yep. Wow. That's awesome, bro. I got to tell you, I'm not a big Star Trek person, but those Star Trek figures that Carson picked up were pretty nice. Like, yeah, that was a great score, Carson. <laughs> Holy cow, you actually got something cool for once. But uh, yeah, hey, if you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. And if you wanna watch more videos just like this, then check out this next video.